The best part of it is the relationships. They're, you know, they're, they've, they've got so much to offer. Senior Safely Gathering at the Senior Center is a welcome sight for John Anderson. We tried, you know, tried to make sure people tried to stay apart and low, little reminders here and there. And we were, uh, we were out and about. Working for the district for over 25 years, he moved into his role as adult program and facilities coordinator just as the pandemic hit, forcing the center to close and remaining so until August 1st. He's experienced firsthand the impact isolation has on seniors. I've learned that they really want to be together. They really want to come out and, and do things. Um, it's been difficult coming into this role right at, right at the heart of COVID because we were shut down. Um, and now we're slowly trying to get people back in. Throughout the pandemic, the senior program has maintained several essential services, like Meals on Wheels, which delivers about 500 meals a week. We delivered 130 today. Just, just today. They also provide a popular foot care service and have slowly and safely reintroduced more opportunities to gather in person, like the knitting and wood carvers groups. We're right in the main area of our senior center, um, here's a couple volunteers from our Craft Corner, Doris. And the Craft Corner, which is open several times a week. Like so many other programs in White Bear Lake, this too is built upon partnerships and contributions. We received a grant from the Greater White Bear Lake Foundation. Um, and part of what we were doing with that was, was trying to provide opportunities for seniors. So the TVs, uh, there's two TVs that we can link together and we can display things on and we're gonna have um, driver's education classes. Though Anderson says the biggest challenge is setting limits on the number of seniors inside at one time. They'll continue to do all they can to keep them socialized and engaged safely. The more they're uh, isolated, the tougher it's gonna be. And you know we're heading into the long winter here. So everything we can do right now to help out uh, as long as we're able to, um, that's what we're gonna do.